Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I guess we'll let's do some Eden runs at a minus one streak. Not feeling great about myself for those uh, reasons, but Curse of the Labyrinth, Triple Shot, Pandora's Box, YP3C, CFL2. YP3C, 3FL2. CFL2. Whatever. It's just, I fucking made up the song anyway. Um, Pandora's Box as a starting item. By the way, uh, the. Uh, Revenge fly that we got, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I prefer something that's more useful for us in a variety of situations. Certainly not bad, though. Um, but Pandora's box, back to the lecture at hand. It's a very interesting starting item. I'm trapped. Because <laughs> we can use it for a, a very wide variety of purposes. For example, um, we could use it on this floor to give us bombs and keys if we really want to get into a, uh, a tinted rock that otherwise we don't have access to or something like that. We could also use, oh, we have Swallowed Penny as our trinket, which is pretty good. Um, we could use it on the Caves 1 or 2 for an extra, you know, little boss item jolt. Or we could save it for some Spirit Hearts on the Depths 1, Money on the Depths 2, which I'd say is very unlikely. Or on the Womb for some extra items, or even take it all the way down to the Cathedral and get a... That's eh, alright. Take it all the way down to the Cathedral and get a, uh, deal with the Angel item out of it. I imagine we're probably going to use it on the Caves 1 or 2. But there are situations where I could see us using it on one of the first two floors, to be honest with you. Like, if, if we couldn't get to our shop on the next floor, or I was really concerned about not being able to get to a deal with the devil, um, and there was a tinted rock that I didn't have the bombs necessary to access, yeah, maybe. But hopefully we don't find ourselves in that situation, because probably the best, like, min-max time to use Pandora's box is Caves, caves 1 or 2. There's a tinted rock there, though. But we could just get a bomb, and a bomb is way more valuable. Uh, or sorry, uh, a bomb is way less valuable than, you know, the outcome of Pandora's box. So, because we feel pretty stupid if we just got, like, you know, a bomb and a key out of it. Even if it is a half-decent trade. So I'm thinking of trying something a little reckless here. What if we just get hurt? And let uh, Revenge Fly do some damage. I was thinking that we could actually get into that shop and probably purchase an item thanks to Swallowed Penny. First off, is this chest back here accessible? No, okay. Yeah, I think we can come in here, hurt ourselves in the fire. Good stuff. Uh, take Remote Detonator, but don't keep it. So basically we paid five cents, uh, sorry, three cents for five bombs. And then we're gonna come up here, get our HP back so we haven't really lost anything. And then blow this up and hopefully get a second secret room, but definitely get the spirit heart. Uh, yeah, alright. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that went down. We lost 15 cents, but it was 15 cents that didn't really belong to us anyway, so. Uh, and then we got another tinted rock right there. I was really hoping that would also give us uh, a judgment, uh, or sorry, not judgment, but a Larry Jr. hit. Larry Jr. judgment, you can sort of see it. You can see how those words would get mixed up. Uh, we have another boss fight, which I totally forgot about. So we actually are totally ready for our de Oh, wait a minute. I've taken so much red heart damage on this floor. Not as smart as I thought I was. Not as smart as I thought I was. We could still get a deal with the devil. Um, but I guess as soon as we take damage, that swallowed penny strat becomes legit. Okay. Just let Revenge Fly do all the dirty work for you. Is that, is that a Tomo cat trying to get in here? Never fear, my friend. I will... I will allow you entrance. We probably did not deserve that deal with the devil, but, you know, we probably also didn't deserve that shitty reroll we got two runs ago when that still happened. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can never complain again because we just picked up Brimstone. All right. Good way to start an Eden streak off. The life of a cat is so weird, man. These, these cats were in my room. Oh, right. We have triple shots, so it's going to take 100 years to charge. Um, these cats were in my room, sleeping. They got, like, a little cat hotel kind of thing they sleep in um they left they said you know what i don't want any part of this cat hotel anymore and then after like 10 minutes they just came back what why why even leave you're just sleeping all over the house we're on a world tour you're not on a ward tour or a world tour i don't remember how the tribe called quest song goes fully emperor you know what let's emperor out of here at least to save ourselves that indignity of taking damage that was incredibly poor damage. I can't stress enough, this 
triple shots kind of screwing me a little bit, but Synth Oil's a great pickup. Hopefully we get like a tears upgrade in here. Krampus is also fine. I mean, we're killing everything in like one hit. You know what? We can do that. Range plus luck up on Mom's Pearls, so mostly just a luck upgrade. And then we do kind of get the best of both worlds because we can hold on to the Krampus, uh, Krampus's head as well. Would have been nice if that were Spirit Hearts, but uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be too mad about it either way. Oh my God, the charge timer, man! The charge timer. Are we gonna be able to do anything with our shop on this floor? It's a possibility. I think we're gonna reroll it, but it's it is tempting. Gemini, I, I mean, it's kind of good. It's an alternative damage source, but I don't really like it. What the fuck does Dunce Cap do for us here? Oh, it's so horrible. I love it. Okay, it's a little. It's really bad. It's not a little bad. It's really bad. I don't know what I was thinking it would be, but I knew that I had to see for myself with my own eyes. It's gonna be tough. Uh, there will be some positions in which I think it's just basically not possible for us to hit enemies. <laughs> like this one, for example, is, is starting to starting to feel like that a little. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave this room. You did this to yourselves. I'm gonna try to get to our shop. And on our shop, what am I looking for? That's a great question. I got basically no idea. Please wander into a 45 degree angle near me. I would really appreciate it. In hindsight, might have been a little bit better to go for Blue Baby's only friend, but... Okay, now I, I got a new strat. Ooh, Guppy's head we will take. That's gonna hit so many enemies um, that we can't hit ourselves. And that actually completely nullifies the strat that I was about to say, which was save Krampus' head for rooms that you can't otherwise hit enemies on, but... I think we'll take the map. The less rooms we have to do, the better. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Um, you know, say what you will about the quality of these runs recently, but they've been goddamn entertaining. This one is, uh, it fits the bill. If the bill fits where, that's what I've always said. Right, Tomo? His ears perked up. Don't act like you didn't hear me, you son of a gun. Now he's staring straight ahead like he's, you know, remember he's got a flashback to like the Boer War or something. Well, well, the Boer War? What's that? A war between pigs? No, it's a war between, uh, is a war in South Africa between the, the, you know, indigenous people of South Africa and their colonial overlords. Do you think it's, uh, cool to not know much about the world around you and how it got to be the way it is? Yo, that's like the least cool thing in the world. Oh, you know what's not cool? Learning stories about how our grandfathers fought and died to protect, you know, whatever they cared about. That's the coolest shit in the goddamn world. Go, go to hug your grandma, if, if you can, or, you know, read some newspaper clippings about her, if you can't. There's your lesson for today. Now, just, oh, that actually worked really well. If we, you know what would be amazing on this run? I think we have, like, oh, we have six shots, it looks like. So, if we could get, um, homing tears... We basically have a sextuple brimstone laser. We just need to find the mechanisms that make it function the way we would like it to function. Yeah, okay. It's not all bad right now, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We're only one incredibly rare, amazing item away from... Success we could have only dreamed about. Rubber cement would also be hilarious. Oh, that's bullshit. We hit it. Some of these rooms are going to take forever. Some of them are going to take no time at all, as we've seen. I mean, when we really get an enemy in our sights, they go down pretty freaking easily. We hit one enemy there for about a half second. That's, that's a bad start. Good, 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 good. We nuked him. This might be the last one. You know what would be great, actually? Little Brimstone. So we could get one in... Or one beam each going at like a 45 degree angle. And then one beam going straight out in front of us. That's probably a little bit weaker, but still, like, at least it'll hit things. Okay, so we got Mom's Coin Purse. Not even sure what we'd be looking for here. Two one makes you larger pills is not it, though. 
relax. Okay, I think I'm gonna hermit, and the reason I'm gonna hermit is because, uh, not necessarily because I want what's in here, although I will admit, getting blue candle would be a nice change. Um, yeah, we'll probably pick up blue candle. Sorry, Guppy's head. Um, and sorry, donation machine. But if we can open a room with blue candle, then do a charge, then do another blue candle shot, uh, the brimstone charge, that is. Then that's going to be good for us. Whole reason I wanted to come back here was for that item room. Ended up being Lemon Mishap. Uh, probably wouldn't have taken it over Guppy's head to begin with, but... It's the thought that counts. It's actually surprising. Finish him off! <laughs> come on! Uh, okay. Uh, we got him. That's not so bad. Alright, now we've got, like, a, a run that's actually functional. It's Caves 2. There's no arcade because we didn't have over five cents, so uh, I wouldn't expect that. But yeah, we got a run that's like semi-functional here. That's good. It's it's more dysfunctional than functional, but you know it's been so dysfunctional for so long that it actually feels like we could make it out of here uh, relatively unscathed. Maybe I don't know. One makes you larger. That probably counts as a good pill in the PhD's mindset. So. Uh, sure, let's go this way. Too slow to make this all in one trip, for sure. Let's work on getting the full charge up. Okie dokie. <laughs> Help. Oh, there we go. Alright, do we go to this curse room? Well, if we do, we certainly don't go right away. Uh, especially now, that was pretty stupid of me. Big miss. Yo, did we hit all the spiders? Oh, not that one! Okay, okay, we got something going here. Pretty unlikely to be a boss room because there's two terminals at the end here. But, uh, item room's no slouch either. Almost got it! Ah! <laughs> Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, good stuff. No keys. I came all the way over here. No keys. Bad gas. All right, let's do one room because it could have keys. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay. Um. Well. I guess that's not. Oh, uh, you know that could be a secret room. It is a secret room, so we can get into our curse room for free. Oh, turn me into Guppy. Make me a feline. I can't wake up. Make me a feline. <laughs> Meow me. You know, it sort of works. Yo, if you're saying, if people are going to say, Daddy, don't meme. Don't meme. Yo, I grew up in the era when Evanescence dominated the radio waves for a summer. So, don't tell me that I can't meme. I fucking live that meme, okay? You, all you've done is study it in the Meme Academy. I lived it. No tinted rocks. Well, that was a, a mild whiff, I'd say. Whoop. Now you know how every enemy in the game that shoots at a diagonal feels. That's bad. Oh, we fucking lived. Hell yeah. The world. Ah, well, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Just gonna keep going. Lucky me, this is an easy room for our setup. And we got a key. We got a trucking convoy slowly walking back to the item room. I hope it's not just snack. Not snack. As to the tune of Convoy by. I have no idea. Convoy Twitty? Oh my god. Blood rights. It. I almost want to take it, cause if we get Isaac's heart, then this is. Good. I mean, I know I'm the anti banking on one synergy guy, but if we get Isaac's hearts, um, then we can actually do damage to enemies in a way that is not ridiculous, which is awesome. Uh, however, if we don't get Isaac's heart, we're not going to be able to use that as much as I would like to, so uh, I'd say our odds are pretty bad. Probably a, a pretty pretty ballsy value proposition 
Let's check out our shop, man. Hell yeah. Seven cent mom's purse. Three... Oh, we must have become mom. Then we got judgment. Um, we'll save that for now. Unless... Wait, is it a demon judgment? It's not a demon judgment. So instead of saving it, we'll just blow this guy up and hopefully have a better deal with the devil chance as a result. We could use the keys. He also opens us up now to having uh, an arcade on the next floor. Okay, get a full charge. Get ready. The brimstone laser is still our premier uh, damage dealer. Just hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Oh! Our deal with the devil chance just got fucked. I really thought he would become the second phase of brownie in the first hit. Well, you got Jesus juice. Oh, this run is taking its toll on me. This fucking run, this motherfucking run. I'm losing my sanity here. What, what, what a sanity I ever had, at least. We're on the freaking depths, too, man, so... You know, we can get into the boss rush here if we so desire it. Oh, the hero font. Oh, oh, the hero font. The devil. Um, damage isn't really our problem, except in an abstract sort of way, so. Well, there's the arcade I was talking about. Do you, do you just go for this Timon in Judgment? I think you probably do. See what this guy can give you. A little ceremonial robes action. A little something something in that area. Tears up is really good. Takes us forever to get a charge, so that's like not bad at all. Try to keep this guy alive to give us some HP. We have no bombs left. That hurts. That hurts me. Down on my plums. Fate's reward is like not really even worth the discussion that we would have on it. That's not to say it's bad. Merely useless. Sure. Crack into these. Give me a give me a card of some sort. That was the card we already had. You think you can pull the wool over my eyes like that? I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. I got to admit, I don't know if I was born at night. Could have been in the early morning for all I know. I wasn't there. More keys. It's just it's just comical. No keys. Too many keys. No money. Tons of money. Like, make up your mind. How are you going to fuck me on this game? I got to admit, the rate of fire increases are actually pretty important. So that, that tears up, that's not something I can complain uh, too hard about. Are we going to do boss rush? I fucking hope not. But there is the small chance that there's an item in there that's good enough to warrant it. And I, I know myself well enough to know that I, I would give it a shot. Okay, we did get a deal. We got the Polaroid. The deal is my shadow. It's pretty bad. Um, Mom's contact and the kidney bean are not good enough. We're making ridiculous time lately. I mean, we've had these really, really, like, powerful runs, but they've all been so scary from a defense standpoint. Oh, we have to try that one if we ever get a bomb again. I mean, on the rooms where it actually works, it clicks... And you, you gotta you gotta have respect for it. Uh, there's just so many fucking rooms where nothing goes down. We could die on this very next room right here. Oh, we can't. We don't have enough HP to get in there. That's cute. That's a little cutism. We'll go to our secret room instead. Fight greed. Who actually is very dangerous for us. Thanks, Fate's reward. I appreciate that. Um, is very dangerous because he fires on like the same axis that we do. Sad fucking bombs. Sing it with me. Sad fucking bombs. Is it work, worth walking on the spikes to get it? No! Probably not, at least. Um, but it is potentially really good if we just get a bomb. <sighs> battery charge? You dare give me a battery charge when I have blue candle? The indignities never stop in this game. Uh, endless nameless chance to get consumables when we use consumables now on first blush that's gonna seem like a really awesome idea Ooh, there's a second one uh, on first blush that's gonna seem like an awesome idea because we're low on consumables but I think we have to 
you know, hope for more chests as well. Like, both, both of these trinkets are kind of like a Hail Mary of optimism for us. Should not have stood there. Should not have stood there. Please. Friends till the end. It's possible, man. Okay, let's do this. Mama Gertie! Like the worst! Oh, no! <laughs> That's, I don't even know if I've ever died against Mama Gertie before. Game, what are you doing to me? I'm trying to play Zany and you're fucking me. Thanks for watching, though. Uh, I'll be back with another Eden run. I hope you enjoyed this one as short as it was. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.